Our top focus story is the triple setback to Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal to ramp up numbers in the state's anti-corruption bureau. The latest in a series of setbacks is the refusal of a Bihar police officer to join duty in Delhi. According to reports, DSP Sanjay Bharti, the highest ranking officer amongst the six deputed by Nitish Kumar government in Bihar, has cited health reasons. This after the Uttar Pradesh government rejected Arvind Kejriwal's appeal to non-BJP states for police personnel. Uttarakhand has said they will take a decision only after receiving a letter from the Delhi government in writing. The centre had yesterday backed the Lieutenant Governor Najib Jung saying no appointments can be made in the anti-corruption branch of the Delhi government without the Lieutenant Governor's approval. अगर उसका आदिन नहीं आता तो नहीं कर सकते हैं अगर उसका आदिन आता तो कर सकते हैं वो आपका कानूनी व्यवस्था जो है वो तो हम लोग इसमें हर दिन का चीज का हम हस्तक्षेप नहीं करते लेकिन जो प्रावधान में जो है उसके हिसाब से I want to bring in my colleague Smita Sharma for the latest on this story. I also want to bring in Rohit Singh from Patna and executive editor Javed Ansari from Delhi. Smita, coming to you first. Why a series of setbacks for Arvind Kejriwal and how is he reacting to this? How is the Delhi government reacting to this? So far, we do not have any formal reactions from Gaurav and apologies to our viewers because, you know, the mood, uh, the weather in Delhi is as unpredictable as, of course, the political twists and turns that we these days, in fact, get to see now. But, you know, remember, Sanjay Bharti was really supposed to be the leader of this delegation with six members from Bihar to help out the Delhi, uh, you know, police in terms of uh, the anti-graft operations, really. 21st of April was when the Bihar government had put out that notification where Sanjay Bharti and also, of course, Inspector Zahir, Zakir Hussain, Santosh Kumar, Hari Krishna Mandal, Sub-Inspectors, Bipin Kumar, Sanjay Kumar, they were supposed to be on deputation with Delhi police for three years. But uh, clearly, you know, if medical grounds are being cited here, things are not as convenient uh, perhaps as Arvind Kejriwal would have been would have uh, hoped for, uh, even as, of course, that entire tussle is on as to who is within uh, their jurisdiction, whether it is the LG really who has this jurisdiction or Arvind Kejriwal is well within his rights to call in for officers under that rent a cop scheme from other states as well got rent a cop scheme is how arvind kejriwal's move to bring in police officials from states other than bjp states is being seen rohit health reasons or is there more to that than meets the eye well, Gaurav, uh, well it's, uh, it is not right to say whether there is some other reason at this point of time because uh, what uh, Sanjay Bharti has cited is health reason and he came uh, short to limelight yesterday when his name was figuring in the list of six police Bihar officials who were supposed to join ACB and all the rest, uh, five of the police officials, that is three sub, uh, three inspector uh, level uh, officers and two sub inspector level uh, officers, they have already left for Delhi and what we are learning from Bihar police sources is that they have already joined the ACB, but uh, Sanjay Bharti has refused and he has written and, and he has given a representation also to the SP of Arwal, where he is posted at this point of time as uh, SDPO. And he has given a, a representation citing health reason that he cannot go and join the ACB in Delhi, Delhi government. And MS Dhillan, who is the SP of Arwal, he has taken that representation and he has forwarded it to the top officials, top, top cops of uh, Bihar police for further course of action. So it is now uh, almost uh, it is certain that Sanjay Bharti, who was leading this delegation, he has refused to join ACP. Okay. Javed, the Samajwadi Party, and we heard CP Rai of the Samajwadi Party saying, Arvind Kejriwal lacks experience. A good administrator would bring out the best in the existing team, harness their abilities. Now, the Samajwadi party taking a rather strong stand, but is the bigger picture Arvind Kejriwal trying to cobble an anti-BJP coalition through the administration? I don't think uh, uh, we can connect these dots that um, just because he's asking for officers from other states, therefore, he's looking at trying uh, making, uh, you know, uh, looking for a political tie-up with these people. He may indeed be, but these two are totally... Uh, independent to this action uh, cannot be connected to his larger political game plan. And this is not unheard of that state governments ask each other. This is on a government-to-government -government basis. A request is put forward in writing and then governments, if they, then the, uh, you know, it depends on the other government whether they can spare officers 
uh, whether they have sufficient officers and whether they can spare them for work outside the state. Well, you know, it remains to be seen whether Mr. Kejival, who's, who's tried, adopted such a high moral ground on the corruption issue, uh, will tie up with somebody like Mr. Mulayam Singh Yadav.